Puppet Master 4. Oh boy. It's almost as if the filmmakers didn't know which direction to take the series in, so they combined elements from the past movies, along with other franchises, and stuck them into this one. What follows is an amusing movie, but also a departure from the beaten formula. The main villain isn't even human. It's a demon named Sutek, who looks like he could be a leftover monster from Power Rangers. The demon blames Tulan for stealing the sacred power that he used to bring his puppets to life, so he sends minions to kill... a group of scientists totally unrelated to the plot. These scientists are trying to create artificial intelligence, which Sutek somehow links to Tulan's magic. The film's protagonist, a bland stereotype of 20-something nerdiness, is the brains behind the operation and resides... where else? At the Bodega Bayen. Aside from that, the scientist characters who get knocked off in the beginning have nothing to do with the rest of the plot and are simply there to add to the body count. It's a good thing because the movie has very few deaths. Another thing that stands out is that the totems, the little henchmen that Sutek sends after everyone, bear a striking resemblance to the gremlins. They even move in a similar fashion. Despite how cool they look, they don't do a whole lot. Whenever they attack, it results in the human victims doing all the thrashing about. Most of the time, the totems just stand in one spot and wave their arms around until something happens. Rick, Mr. Generic 20-something geek, gets a visit from some friends, one of them being a psychic, who instantly senses an evil presence. Together, they find Tulan's old trunk and discover the puppets. Rick injects them with a serum, bringing them back to life, and decides to use them as guinea pigs for his lab project. A laser quest tournament. This is where the movie loses all sense of what it's trying to be and just has fun. He actually outfits Tunneler and Pinhead with laser guns, and the three of them duke it out in a game of laser tag. It's hilarious, and is quite possibly the most entertaining scene in the whole franchise. Eventually, the totems start to show up and attack the humans when the puppets, once thought to be the products of evil, come to the rescue. It goes without saying that the tagline for the film is when bad puppets turn good. Another standout scene has Pinhead and Blade holding one of the totems to a wall, while Tunneler drills right through him. That's pretty awesome. Guy Roll reprises the role of Tulan from the last film, but his presence here is severely wasted. He comes back as a spirit to give Rick advice on how to use the puppets, but usually he only has a couple of throwaway lines, and when we actually see him, it's unintentionally comical. It's a shame, too, because up until Rolf appeared, the acting was less than subpar, and here he's reduced to spewing one-liners. Toward the end, the puppets reveal a new creation, a masked marauder who looks like he's into S&M, named Decapitron. And no, I didn't make that up, there's actually a puppet named Decapitron. He isn't that impressive and has very little screen time, his only purpose being to kill the last totem. That's just stupid, because they were doing pretty good by themselves earlier. There's a little bit of build-up, but when he finally comes to life, it fails to impress. They should have just brought back Torch. Torch doesn't screw around. He would have rounded up all those suckers and had himself a little barbecue. Puppet Master 4 isn't without its fun, and it's packed with effects and very minimal gore. But in this instance, it's not even trying to be scary, aiming instead for mostly humor. That's not uncommon. A lot of franchises go for that route, but this one takes it a little too far. Not that you really need to take any of these movies seriously, but a darker tone and some more human deaths, maybe even some newer puppets, would have made it stand out a little more. This one still ranks pretty high in the series, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and give it three totems with holes in their stomachs, courtesy of Tunneler. Uh, way to go, Tunneler. 